Welcome to HGS Assist. <laughs> Today I came out very early to solve this problem actually. This is a um, backlight issue. But actually what happened on this backlight issue is still confusing because I still wonder how this um, particular backlight will be having such a shot and the system will be also functioning. Because I, I seriously doubt, I, I even couldn't even believe it, that such shots will be present on the system and the system will still be functioning without a um, backlight. Okay, what happened here was uh, maybe at least every day I learn, I can see that um, that's where um, I should be focusing on each time I'm having anything that has to do with backlight issue. Now, we have this motherboard here that's having a backlight issue now what actually we did was to check if the fuse line is functional now the fuse line is blown which is this is the fuse line i don't have the fuse so i just run a a, a, a one-way cable so i just run a one-way cable to it now when i check this fuse line i corrected the error but still the system still did not this um, give us any backlight now i started to check from my um schematic diagram q9706 this is q9706 q9706 is not functional now this chip should be having 12 volts from here which is from the fuse should be having 12 volts from here and sending out also 12 volts out. Now, when I check, Q9706 is receiving 12 volts but it's not sending out. I changed it. This is the Q9706 here. This is Q9706. This is the one we replaced. Uh, okay. This is Q9706 here. This is the chip. I replaced it. This is the bad one. This is the bad one that I replaced. But still, when, when I fix Q9706, the system will automatically shut down, will not power again. So it simply means that the voltage coming in from here, from P1, sending out is being restricted to function because of a shot that is present that is hidden because my dear this shot in quote i cannot even identify if i don't if i said i will not if i didn't use them uh injection method to find this shot out now what i did was okay i said okay this q9706 produces um um, um, PP bus switch backlight. What it does is to produce that current. The current which it produces is being sent to um, on page eight. On page eight, that's where you will see where the power is being sent to to a resistor. I'm coming. We uh, sent to a resistor. Let me bring it out. Okay, it's sent to zero resistor 0910. It's sent to a resistor 0910, which is this, and it, this resistor is called a zero ohms resistor. This is where this re resistor is, re is located. From here, this is your okay. This is this is your 0910. This particular. This particular one here, this is a 0910. I've replaced it also because I let us find out that it's not sending. I replaced it also. And still, when I replace it, the system will not stay up. Okay. What did I do here now? Okay, I thought it was... Um, I thought it was... Um, I thought it was um, U, U77... That should be a U77 
okay u9701 i thought it was u9701 i replaced u9701 this is u9701 here this is u9701 here got it here i replaced it these are the bad this these are the ones i replaced from still we have no backlights so what i did was to start my tracing remember on here let me go back to my board here um I discovered that um, this C9797 is having a bridge, which is this. This is C9797. This is C9797. This is C9799. This one is C9799. And these chips are power um, ppv out switch lcd backlight so these switch are meant to send 12 volts to the screen so now whenever whenever this um what is it called uh q9706 sends 12 volts out these caps receive the 12 volts and send it to the screen but what happened here is because of these shots that is um, cited on this place that 12 volts that is being produced by Q9706 automatically will be forcing the system to have slow functionality so what I did was to check these two chips I used an injection method injection method which I used identify that this particular one here this particular one here is faulty this particular one is here is faulty let me show you how did how to know as you can see this is a capacitor and a capacitor giving you this beep sound shows that it is faulty so what i did was to replace it with this now the 12 volts that is being produced by Q9706 sends to this cap and returns back again to your LCD switch. This is your LCD cap also, which end, which goes to the connector from the connector to your screen. So when all this was when I checked all this and the voltage corresponded correctly from the schematic diagram, I believe I have solved the problem. So, we can only believe and make our belief come true if what we just explained is true. So, let's fix in the connector and plug in the power okay now the system is up okay as you can see we have a backlight as you can see we have a backlight so the backlight is functioning what next is character so character we are expecting the character to pop up because it's not connected to the hard drive to the connector so what you're going to see here is a question mark what should be coming out here should be a question mark to show that we have a character as you can see we have a character so this problem has been solved so in the first step by step checking and anything that has to do with backlight issue the first thing to check is your fuse the fuse line this is your fuse line this is your fuse line the first to check is your fuse line 
now this backlight should be giving you 12 volts 3 volts and 5 volts these are the three main voltage that are meant to come to the pp um, the backlight drivers so you check for 5 volts on this cap check on 3 volts on this cap and check on 12 volts on this cap so that is how we solve our problem so keep watching and subscribing to the channel for more repairs on macbook pro thank you